What's going on beautiful internet family? My name is Dan Davis and I'm the creative director here at danstube.tv and today I've got my review on the Osmo Action 4. If you are interested in the Osmo Action 4, I will have some links below to check it out. So definitely check it out if you're in the market for an upgrade or if you want to buy your first action camera. So the Osmo Action 4 is the upgraded version of the Osmo Action 3. Probably see they are very similar in many, many ways. Now, the big upgrade on the Osmo Action 4 is the camera system. So it is a 1 over 1.3 inch CMOS sensor, which does make a big difference in low light performance. I also did find that the sharpness of the image was beautiful, but when I think about it, like the Osmo Action 3, even though on its release, some people were complaining about issues with like the focusing point or even the sharpness of the image. I never actually had those major issues. I guess I had updated the firmware by the time that that was a problem for some people. The Osmo Action 4 has come out and it's got no issues like that on launch. It's actually super reliable in all sorts of scenarios. I will say though that when I look at these two side by side, like if you're an Osmo Action 3 owner, it isn't a major upgrade to the Osmo Action 4, but if you have the Osmo Action 2 or if you have a different GoPro or you want to get your first action camera, then the Osmo Action 4 is the one to go for because it does have that larger sensor. It does have everything upgraded over previous models. And one of my favorite things about this system is the fact that it's just reliable, robust, waterproof, has a bunch of accessories, and is really easy to use. I do love the battery pack that you get with the Adventure Combo, a very sleek, simple design. This actually reminds me of the case for the DJI mic, but very simple, just a USB-C on the side. You've got a button on the front to let you know if they're charged, and all you gotta do is flip it up, and then the little ribbons, you pull those, and you've got your batteries ready to go. It's a very well-designed case, and if you are the type of person to go on many adventures, you're definitely gonna want the extra battery life. The other thing that's really cool is just the diversity of accessories that you can get, and I love the magnetic mounting system. This is something that we've seen um, for a little while now from DJI, but this is one of my favorite mounting systems from a company in a very long time, because it actually utilizes like a hook system and a magnetic base as well. So you basically feel the magnet as it holds on and then it also hooks in with two little hooks so very secure and ready to go but also simple to swap to the next rig so that's what makes it nice because it's like if you are the type of person to you know go on an adventure and you want to go from like a head mounted setup like this but then you want to disconnect it and then chuck it onto this unit here and then you want to make sure that you've actually got an extension rod then you got the massive extension rod in the adventure combo as well this is actually kind of crazy how long this thing is <laughs> like it's uh pretty wild how long this thing is but yeah just so simple to go between accessories there's a bunch of accessories out there a bunch of third party ones a bunch of official ones and that's one of my favorite things about the unit because when you are capturing action stuff you need to capture it immediately right a lot of the time things are happening really fast and you need to be able to quickly dismount it, chuck it to another thing, and then start recording straight away. Unfortunately, with slow motion, you can't actually enable the rock steady. Like when I'm in 4K, four times slow motion, I can't enable rock steady or rock steady plus. So you just have to keep that in mind. But if this thing is mounted to something and it's held on, it's gonna do a fine job anyway. Um, but if you go into those other modes, you can actually use rock steady up to the 120 frames per second. And you have a bunch of options with like the horizon balancing and horizon steady and all that awesome stuff. So I can see when I go into 4K four times, which is 120 frames per second, there's no option for me to then go into rock steady mode at all. But then if I swap over to video, for example, and I'm in 4K, let's go 120 frames per second, I can see that I've got the option for rock steady plus as well as rock steady. So you do have a few options here. I would love to see slow motion with Rocksteady. That would be next level. But overall, you're getting such a great offering here with a bunch of different features. So you are getting the dual screens on this guy here and no major issues with like delay or performance or anything like that. It's a very responsive touch screen and clearly the processing power in these units now are great because I have no issues with delay or lag or anything like that. It's never frozen on me or had any major issues. It's just ready to go at a moment's notice, which is exactly what you want from an action camera. And the boot up time is like seconds. It's just ready to go instantly. 
When I was using this unit, I did think back to the original Osmo Action 1. It did have a very similar form factor, and they went to the Osmo Action 2, which had a completely different form factor, and then they've come back to this same kind of, I guess, stereotypical kind of action camera design. But that's not a problem at all. I think it's got its own unique flair, and it's built really well. I could handle a beating. I accidentally dropped it and it's just great. You know, it can handle any sort of conditions that you put it in and it just keeps recording regardless of what's going on. Now, the performance, like I said before, of the front screen and the rear screen both work phenomenally well. And it's great to be able to have that if you want to do the selfie stuff, uh, you know, if you want to do any sort of vlogging or whatever it may be. Or if you even want to set it up in a way where you can't see the rear screen, sometimes you might mount it to something and you might not be able to see the rear screen. So just to be able to actually adjust everything on the front screen definitely makes the world of difference. And I would say that this is just a refined action camera. Like I said at the beginning, not a major leap over the Osmo Action 3. So if you do have the Osmo Action 3, this might not be the upgrade for you. But if you've got a previous model of uh, the Osmo Action 2 or 1, or even if you've got a GoPro and it's like an older version or any other action camera, this is a really decent upgrade, especially for that larger camera system on the front. It does have the deep freeze resistance, which is amazing that it can work in all sorts of conditions, whether it's boiling hot or freezing cold, it can handle really anything that you put it through. And then the battery life is great. You're getting up to 160 minutes, but that's if you're shooting 1080p, 24 frames per second. So if you're going into the 4K, you're gonna get significantly less. But if you've got the adventure combo, you do get those three batteries. They charge really quickly. And for a lot of people, unless you're like an extreme action goer, you're gonna be able to make it work. You know, like a lot of people that are getting an action camera, I feel like there's definitely a large portion of people who aren't actually action people. You know, there's a lot of people that just travel and want to have a little camera. They don't wanna fill up their phone storage. They don't have a DSLR or mirrorless camera. So an action camera does the job, you know, like it allows you to get those really cool selfie shots with you and your family. It allows you to capture some cool things as you're going around. And it's a really durable system, right? You don't have to worry about if the kids are using it and recording. Like it's gonna be able to take a little bit of a hit here and there. So it is a great system for something like that. And I think even though it's an action camera, it's designed for action. There's definitely a lot of applications for non-action-y people out there. You are getting a slight improvement here when it comes to the water resistance. So you can actually go up to 18 meters in depth as opposed to 16 meters on the Osmo Action 3. So a slight improvement there. If you are into swimming with your action cameras, then that could be a reason why you'd want to get the latest version. The Osmo Action 4 also supports gyro data exportation. So this is really handy for people who are actually wanting to know about the gyro side of things. So if you're in the FPV space, it does make a difference to actually have that data available through the action camera. A few other upgrades here when we compare it to the Osmo Action 3 is users can now actually adjust sharpness and noise reduction levels. There's also a GPS Bluetooth remote controller and that allows you to adjust a bunch of different things with a remote controller. This is, yeah, a new offering for the Osmo Action 4, supports adding speed, tilting angle, acceleration, and also route map to the footage in the Mimo app. We've also improved the selfie stick elimination. So that means that there's a bunch of different scenarios where you can mount the unit and actually ensure that the, the selfie stick isn't in the shot. So that's handy if you're mounting it to a longboard or to a bike or whatever it may be. It allows you to get those different kind of perspectives without actually worrying about the stick being in the shot. You also get 360 degree horizon steady, which is very handy if you are the type of person to lean the camera accidentally. It just means that the horizon is going to be nice and steady. So that's for 360 degrees, which is very impressive. But again, it is a improvement. It's a quality of life improvement over the Osmo Action 3, which was already a great system. So again, it comes down to like why you would be getting a camera system, why you'd be getting an action camera. If you're upgrading from an older model, well worth the upgrade and something that is worthwhile. I think that the microphone systems have improved as well, like the audio quality seems to be better. We also get that improved camera system, like I've said a few times. That's the biggest calling card I would say about this unit. Yeah, you get a few other like quality of life improvements and usability cases where you can use different accessories and you've got some more options and some more control to actually use this in different scenarios. But I think the big calling card is that larger camera system and it does make a difference. It's a beautiful system that captures super sharp images, great video, amazing slow motion, and it is a great action camera, but that's kind of what I was expecting. You know, it's a DJI product, always a great offering from DJI. 
And uh, this is another reason why DJI are competing with GoPro, because this is a great offering with a lot going on at a competitive price point. And I think if you're considering going for an action camera, you don't want to go for a GoPro and you want to upgrade from something, then this could be the one to consider because it's got a lot going on for it. And I will say that just the user experience for someone like me who's a non-action person, like I do love cameras. I use cameras all the time. I use drones all the time. I will say the image from this is remarkable and I do love the actual interface. I love how responsive everything is. That's one of the biggest calling cards. I've used so many action cameras in the past where the system bugs out or freezes on you or just has issues. I would say that this is probably one of the most responsive systems I've used when it comes to that user interface, which is a big reason to get an action camera in my mind, like get an upgrade if you're having issues with performance. This is something that's gonna be able to capture those moments immediately without having any delay. And uh, yeah, well worth checking out. So thank you so much for watching everyone. I appreciate all of your amazing support and I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace. Yeah.